what is up? That was a great photo shoot. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, click up here and you can watch the video. Just get up to speed a little and then come back to this one. What we're talking about is epic black and white photos. I'm gonna show you guys how I took the pictures from the last video and I made them like that epic, like crisp, high contrast black and white that you see and you know you love. But for some reason your pictures aren't turning out that way. Yours are kind of like flat, but like a little bit kind of desaturated, but not, mm, they don't have that, mm, that like punch you in the face black and white. That's what we're doing today. But first, I'm gonna go throw some axes with my friends. Oh, and to clarify, we're not just like going to a park and whipping axes in a playground or some crazy shit like that. We're going to an actual battle axe place, so check this out. You guys just teach yourselves how to do it. Just, just do it yourself. All right, fine, I'll do it. Stop nagging me, Jesus. All right, who's ready for some epic black and whites? Let's do this. We got our photo open in Photoshop. It's a wicked picture of Lauren. Honestly, in color, I'm totally happy with it. We're gonna turn it into black and white for the sake of the tutorial to show you how to get that high contrast, like <clears throat> punch you in the face black and white. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually show you the wrong way to turn up an image black and white and probably a lot of people do this and this is why you get that like flat black and white that just doesn't do it for you. So what people are doing is command shift U. That just simply desaturates the photo. It is black and white, yes, but it's kind of gray and it just, it seems washed out. That's the easy way. If you want mediocre black and white photos, that's all you gotta do. We're gonna undo that and we're gonna do it the proper way. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is edit your image in color first, get out all the imperfections, have the image the way you like it in color, then we're gonna convert it to black and white. And that's pretty straightforward. Make sure your color picker is set to default where you can just press D on the keypad and you want it selected black with white in the background and then you're going to go over to your right side click the gradient map gradient map will turn it black and white and create a new layer boom so right away you can see versus the old one I'll split them up on the screen right here the old one's a little bit more washed out this version of doing black and white has a little bit more contrast so, to push it even further, what you're going to want to do is double click the layer thumbnail right here and a little box will come out. Click this gradient bar and another pop-up will come up and you can actually play around with the slider of the black and white to get it to where you want it to be. So if you want super high contrast black and white, you just drag those blacks and whites in. You can make the white more dominant or you can make the black more dominant. You know, it's just a matter of playing around with it and finding something that you're comfortable with. Let's say we're happy with this right here. Uh, it's punchy, but it's not a flat black and white. We're gonna select our background layer, and here's where we're gonna actually play with hue saturation, which is right up here. And if you check it out, even though the image is in black and white, your hue and saturation change the way your image is perceived, you see that? So find that comfortable middle ground where you want it to be, like, do I want to brighten up the background a bit and you can see a lot more detail in her hair, or do I want to darken it out and make her hair a little bit lighter? So I think I like it somewhere just a little bit brighter in the back. The good thing about this background is it's out of focus and it's not too distracting, like, one of the other pictures I'll show you on the screen right now is actually Lauren in a cityscape. And because she's in the cityscape and there's so much going on, 
it's just too much for you to process in black and white, so it doesn't look good as a black and white photo. This one's got a very shallow depth of field. Her eyes are looking right at you. That's the focus of the image, and that's why it works in black and white. So, just to recap it, pretty straightforward. Gradient map to get your black and white. Make sure your color picker is set to black and white in the background, and just click that gradient map. You're gonna get a lot darker and punchier black and whites, and then you just play around with the contrast levels, play around with hue saturation, mess around with some of the, the, you know, the colors in the background. It's all a preference thing. I can't tell you exactly how you want your black and whites to look, but this is how you start. So, my advice to you is to just get in there and get your hands dirty, play with the black and white, see what you like, see what you don't like. Ask people, ask for a critique. Heck, even send them to me, I'll let you know how good it is. I mean, not that my opinion really matters, but do it, fire it off, I'd love to see your work. Boom, that's all there is to it. You've got sick black and white photos and it's super simple, but just please guys, make sure you do it the right way. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button and you know what, if you don't hit that subscribe button, a puppy dies. So we don't want puppies to die, they're too cute. So just hit that subscribe button and let me see your black and white photos. Later guys.